everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills satin and matte lipsticks if you do want to see a review and a demo then please keep watching as a huge favor if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below I greatly appreciate it I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back each lipstick retails for $23 on Sephora's website, Ulta Beauty, and ABH Online. I do want to read a little bit about these lipsticks on Sephora's website. A full pigment lipstick with brilliant color, control, and comfort for velvety, soft, intensely rich lips that last. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Anastasia Beverly Hills Satin Lipstick. You get 3 grams of product or 0.10 ounces. Up at the top, you have the ABH logo. On the other side, you have the shade name. On the side of the packaging, it's just another ABH logo. On this side, you have the list of ingredients. And then on the other side, it states it has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in the USA. Let's open this up. Ooh, look. Here's what the lipstick tube looks like. It's this rose gold. It says Anastasia Beverly Hills. On the bottom of the lipstick, you have the shade name. Again, the shade is in warm peach. And then up at the top, you have the ABH logo. The packaging is so beautiful compared to their previous packaging. Let's open this up. Let's see what the shade in warm peach looks like. Ooh. In the center of the lipstick tube, you have the ABH logo. This shade is so beautiful. Look at that. Warm Peach is described as a soft peach with a satin finish. Ooh, that's super pigmented. Let me do another swipe just to build it up. That shade is gorgeous. I did forget to mention there are 18 shades in total and I only purchased 10 out of the 18 shades. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. This shade definitely washes me out. Let's pair it with a brown lip liner. ABH did release lip liners with these lipsticks. I didn't purchase any of them because I have a couple of lip liners that I really do love, but eventually I definitely want to test those out as well. Let's go ahead and apply the shade in Warm Peach on top of the lip liner. It looks so much better paired with a brown lip liner. Next shade is called Praline. Praline is another beautiful shade. Look at that. Praline is described as a nude pink, and again, it's a satin finish. This shade is a little bit too pinky for my liking. The next shade is called Taupe Beige. Taupe Beige is described as a pink beige, and again, this is a satin finish. Taupe Beige is totally wearable. I wish this shade was a little bit more pigmented. You can still see my dark upper lip peeking through. I wanna see if this shade is buildable, so I'm gonna apply a little bit more. I guess that looks a little bit better. I really do like the formula. It's very comfortable on the lips. Next up, we have Rose Brown. This shade looks stunning in the tube. Rose Brown is described as a rosy brown. And once more, this is a satin finish. Again, really beautiful shade. This shade is the best one so far. Next up, we have Soft Brown. Soft Brown is described as a soft, warm brown. Again, that's really beautiful. This shade is gorgeous. The next shade is called Peach Amber. Peach Amber is described as a deep warm peach. Again, that's stunning. I'm loving this shade as well. Next up we have Peach Bud. Peach Bud is described as a peachy pink. This shade is a little bit too peachy coral for my liking. Next up, we have Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose is described as a rosy lilac. That's really beautiful. This shade is gorgeous. The second to last shade is called Rose Dream. 
Rose Dream is described as a rose petal pink. Another beautiful shade. This shade is a little bit too sheer for my liking. You can still see my dark upper pigmented lip peeking through. Let's see if it's buildable. It looks the same. I don't think this shade is buildable. The last shade I purchased is Toffee, but this is a matte finish. Up at the top, it says matte lipstick, whereas the previous shades were all satin lipsticks. This formula has that powdery finish, whereas the satin formula, it has more of a sheen to it. Here's what the satin formula looks like, and then here's the matte formula. Let's see what the shade in Toffee looks like. Toffee is described as a warm brown. Wow, that is super pigmented. Here's what all 10 shades look like. Really beautiful. Here's a closer look on what all 10 shades look like. I prefer the matte formula. It's a velvety finish. It feels very comfortable on my lips, and I love this color in the shade Toffee. There were three shades in this collection that really stood out to me. First being the shade in Toffee. I really do love this beautiful warm brown shade. I can see myself reaching for it every day. The other two shades I really did like from this collection was the shade in Rose Brown and Taupe Beige. I thought I would prefer the satin finish over the matte finish, but I prefer the matte finish. Whereas the satin finish, there is a bit of a sheen to it. It's not my favorite. My final thoughts on these lipsticks is that I really do like them. I like the rose gold packaging. It feels very high end. For $23, some of the shades, I don't think it's worth it. For example, the shade in Rose Dream, it was too sheer on my lips, but I did like how it swatched on the back of my hand. I would have preferred the shade to be a little bit more pigmented for the price point. These are lipsticks. They will transfer throughout the day. You would need to reapply. Overall, I really do like this formula. I'll definitely have to purchase more matte shades. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite and if you guys did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe i will see you in my next video